I mean, it was a must for us. Uh, if we look at the whole game, we didn't do a very good job in the first half. And, and obviously, you know, they were getting the shot they wanted. But on the other hand, for us, we, we had to work a little harder in order for us to take a uh, good shot. But uh, going into the second half, it was just having a mentality of uh, of trying to find a way to get our guys better shot. You know, it is layups and and all those things. And and I think we did a very good job setting good screens. It wasn't just me; it was everybody. And um, and I mean, uh, we got some layups. I think Kyle drove a couple of times, got fouled, went to the free throw line. Uh, I think I set another scream on on Demar. You hoping up Corey three points and went up six. So. Uh, those were important play to us, and I'm glad we got to complete them. Uh, uh, yeah, I think you can always give an assist in a different way. You know, there is an assist that show up on the stat sheet, and and the ones that don't show up. So I think you know when you set a good scream, somebody get an open shot. You know, and that's another asset. I always count it as an assist, and and I think it's, it's just winning basketball that we were able to complete. Twenty-five rebound game, eighty-eight and sixteen last night. What is it about you attacking the game? I mean, it's just knowing how I can impact the game. You know, I always say scoring is not a problem with us. You know, and, and this series is not about scoring. It's just about who played the most physical and. Uh, and one thing where we have done a very good job in the three games we have won is being able to to compete at a high level. And uh, and, and this series is just has been about whoever play more physical than the other. And uh, and I think when we play in Indiana the last game, nobody was happy. We you know they pretty much uh, came out and, and played with a lot of physicality and. And they are rebound us and all that, so you know it, it just didn't feel right. And and going into yesterday game, it was just a mindset of I expected a main fight, and and we're going to leave it all on the floor. And 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 that's uh, that that was a big accomplishment when we realized that the shot wasn't good at the end. Uh, I've done it for 82 games. <laughs> I got used to. Is uh, is nothing different, but more than anything, it's just um, it, there are certain things that we have to do as a team. You know, either sacrifice a body in a scream or a rebound or a block shot or whatever it is, in order for us to win. And I, f I think you know, like my mindset, I've always been that way. You know, what can I do to help my teammate? Uh, how can I set a good scream? How can I go after a rebound so Damar don't have to suffer to rebound the ball and score? Uh, but at the end of the day, I think we all did a good job to complete plays, you know, rebound, uh, set good screams. And of course, we had a great run in the fourth quarter when uh, we played good defense and we, you know, we scored, we forced a couple of turnover, and, and those were big for us. Does this series job change at all when you're up there with a small ball group rather than when you're up there with? I mean, not really. You know, I, th I think at the end of the day, we just find a way uh, uh, how we can play. And obviously, late shot clock, we, we, we get in a situation where we have to switch. And of course, I can guard uh, the small, and that, that kind of help us too, so we don't have to start rotating from a corner and leaving, you know, um, the three point hoping because they're very good short, uh, they're very, very good shooter. So, um, what, what really has helped us is, you know, the way we talk on defense and the way we switch with the small guys. But more than anything, it's just the speed of the game. We're able to run a lot, and you know, we push the ball a lot. But and, and also on the other side, it's just that our intensity level defensively, uh, you know, raised to a whole nother level in the fourth quarter, and I think that's what helped us win the game. We can talk about all these things that happened in the game. I think when we really took over the game was the fourth quarter. You mentioned last night about talking to Demar on the bench. What exactly did you talk about last night, and how impressive is it to see a young guy like that step in mm -hmm. and listen and then buy to the game, particularly the bench? I told him you have to play defense in order for us to win this game. If you know, you gotta 
you got to play defense. And Paul George is hot right now. And, uh, and we have to find a way to stop him. If we can't stop him, we can, we can win a game. And, uh, and I tell the same thing to Corey, uh, uh, whoever uh, they were guarding. The, the, the main thing was for us to play defense. But Norm, you know, you got to give him credit. The guy's always in the gym. Every time I come in a, during the day off, I'll find Norm in the gym. You know, every time I'm in the gym, I'll, I'll see him showing up. So, you know, I give him a lot of credit. And the way he has been able to come out and play, you know, uh, he didn't play the game before that. And then come out uh, this game and, and, and play a very good game. That, uh, that's just amazing, you know. He, he stay confident. He can st he's still coming and, and get his work done. And and I think uh, at the end of the day, you know, that shows a lot of character from him. And you know, you want to have a guy like that on your team, and can only appreciate his hard work. I stay in the gym. <laughs> uh, this is actually my, my first season that I I haven't took a day off. You know, uh, I come back in the gym on every other day off. Uh, I come back at night. I stay. I come back. Bef uh, I come before people start getting in the gym and get my work done. I stay after. Uh, and, and to me, my, the, the key was how can I you know, improve and not getting all this ACA, you know, player that's been going on to, uh, around the league. And, uh, and of, co of course, around, uh, along the summer, I've, uh, I've worked a lot on my free throws and, and trying to improve. And it was just a matter of repetition, uh, getting my confidence higher. And, uh, and, you know, down the stretch, especially in the fourth quarter, you don't want the coach, you don't want to give the coach a reason to take you out of the game. And, uh, and um, that has been my main goal uh, the whole summer. And, uh, and I'm glad it's, it's going uh, the right way. How many times have you passed the track in your career? My career? Yeah. Uh, probably two times. Yeah. Uh, one when I was in Charlotte. And I think, uh, I don't know, somebody did it when I was here at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Houston, yeah, there you go, yeah, and that was it. So I haven't got it too many times in my career, but uh, but I'm pretty confident when they do that. I always go up on the free throw line and shoot it. So. I mean, uh, yes, there is a level of satisfi uh, satisfaction because we we, we got to win. But on the other side is you have to look the downside of it. How did we start a game? How did we play those three quarters? You know, uh, if we play with the same intensity we play in the fourth quarter, um, we, we shouldn't even been talking about us suffering to win a game. You know. And and we were shown that in those games we won uh, before yesterday, uh, but you know, you always appreciate a win. You correct the mistakes, um, you learn from it, and and you prepare yourself for the next game. And I think that's where things gonna matter. You know, uh, the next game is gonna be pretty much like a game seven for us because we're looking to close the the series, and and it's gonna take the same intensity. We have to be able to come out and, and play with the same intensity. And and more than anything, it's just that we have shown in the whole year, but we just, we just haven't found a way to be consistent for four quarters and uh, and be able to, to sustain each and every play. You know, we have our hops, we have our down, we make a run, and then we let them make a run instead of, you know, just keep it consistent. And and at the same time, we got to win. It's good, but we can't get too high on ourselves. We can be satisfied with it until we, we get one more done. And I think that's the mission we're on, uh, all of us coaches, players. And uh, and it's going to be fun. Is there a way to find that intensity? Because you can't, even if you're not going to win some games, you'll be in tune. And then you had a flat start in the second game against Philly. You had the flat start again where they tied 2 2 down. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, we're gonna find it. <laughs> we're gonna find it. Uh, I think it, you know he always start with little things. Uh, you know, I always say that you know it could be. Uh, you know, a three-point shot that would get people going. It could be uh, a dunk. It could be a block shot. It's always within a team you find that somebody that would get, you know, everybody going in the right direction. And and one thing is that in game three when we're playing in Indiana, it's just that everybody on the same page. You didn't need to find that. It was already there. So there's some games where we got to find it. You just got to bring it. And uh, and then I always uh, tell Corey, uh, once we see things going that way, we're going to start talking about it on the bench, like how can we make adjustment, you know, uh, how can we bring the energy. And then sometimes when we start slow, we just start talking about how can we get the speed of the game going, you know. Tell you what, uh, the only thing I care about we got to win. I shake the floor, and I'm going to the locker room, and that's all. Uh, I would care less what they think about, what they saying about. Either we're getting called, we don't get called. It don't make no difference to us. When we get out there, we get it done in front of our fans, you know, and, and get our fans proud. And then come out and support us. I think that's all that matters to me, and I just look forward to Game Seven. I mean. Uh, <laughs> game, game six, uh, because we're gonna play that game as as it was game seven, and um, and that's just the mindset. Like, you just gotta understand when we lost in Indiana, it didn't feel good. It really didn't feel good. And and coming home, we know what we had to do. And going into Indiana, we're well prepared. We're well prepared. En fait, c'est la façon dont on, on a joué euh, pendant le, le quatrième carton. Euh, et je crois que on n'a pas eu la chance de, de faire la même chose pendant le trois carton. Mais, mais après, à, à la fin, c'est qu'on on sait quel genre d'équipe on est, hein, comment, comment on, peut, on peut changer les choses. Et l'unique façon qu'on peut changer les choses, c'est de jouer de la même façon qu'on l'a fait hein, durant le, le quatrième carton. À, afin de nous aider à ne pas arriver à de moments difficiles où on doit beaucoup travailler pour la victoire. Mais n'empêche, une victoire reste une victoire. On, on continue à améliorer et on doit aller à Indiana pour, pour travailler dur et on doit jouer le, notre sixième match comme si c'était notre septième match afin de remporter la victoire. Uh, what's more important is getting a win for me, honestly speaking. Uh, Paul George can score 50 points. Uh, as long as we get a win, um, I'm fine with that. And uh, and and that's all that matters. Was, uh, was, how, how good was it for you guys to see DeMar finally kind of Uh, you know, I, t I talk a lot to DeMar, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I always text him before the game. And, uh, and, and one thing, and, and he, you know, DeMar is one of those guys, you know, once his shots start falling, he's unstoppable. You know, we all know that. He has shown that the whole season. But at the same time, is that it's things that we knew was going to happen. You just don't know when. And, and obviously, as the series go on, you don't know who's going to catch fire. And obviously, it shows that from the beginning of the game, he was really aggressive. And and I, I always tell him, you know, those games where we come really aggressive, I just look at Corey, I'm like, it's going to be a long night for them. <laughs> so yeah, I did look at Corey, and I tell him the same thing. And obviously, by the time we finished the game, um, his numbers was, was, were great. And, and obviously, he is an all-star for a reason. So I know. Him. You gotta, you gotta ride with him, man. Yeah, and <laughs> you just gotta believe in him. I, I, he knows he's gonna find his way, and obviously, I'm glad he he, he find his way last night. And uh, and we're gonna need everybody for for the next game. Um, 
we're going to need everybody. It's going to take each and every position, defensively, offensively, uh, from the jump to the end. We would just keep pushing each other. And, and I know uh, after a timeout, Corey, uh, me, the Mark, I were telling ourselves we're going to run. We have to run out of guys if we want to win this game. We got we to gotta leave it all on the floor. We, we have to. And that's just going to be us. If we want to finish this game, we have to run out of guys. And, and we have to play on both ends of the floor. I, I forget about. Well, you know, the coach is saying and this and that. This is about us. We have to get out there, get it done, and go home. So, um, and and we just, you know, it was position after position. And before we know it, it was 92-92. And, and then from there, the game went away.